how to connect your Facebook pixels with Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can connect your Facebook pixels with Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first things first, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have created the Shopify account and it's up and running. And you also need to create a page for your Facebook account. So you can do that later as well. But just to make things simple, we're also going to go over to our Facebook meta business. So we already have that over here on the left hand side. You can see you have MetaQuest fundraisers. We have the ad manager over here. We have a bunch of different other options as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on ad manager and open it up over here just in case if we need to. And we'll also open meta business suite as well. So we're going to come over here onto the meta business suite. Here we go. So here you need to go ahead and create a page for your Meta Business Suite account. So I already have created a page, but I'm going to delete this page and create a new one. So, you know, just so we can start fresh. So let's go ahead and connect our pixel. So to connect the pixel, what we need to do is we need to install an application into our Shopify store. Everything is straightforward from there. So we're going to click on add apps and then click on Shopify app store and open it up. If you find it over here, that's well and good. But if not, you can open up the Shopify app store into another tab and we can install the application from there. Now, the application that we are going to install is called Facebook and Instagram. As you can see, it's top right here. As you can see, it's shown at the top right here. If you don't see it at the top, you can just simply go ahead and search for it in the search bar. So once we have the application, we're going to click on it and install the application. It's going to open it up in another tab. Give it a couple of seconds and here we go. So now we just simply go ahead and click on install to install the application. Give it a couple of seconds. Now you do need the ad manager for this as well. So keep that in mind. I already have it over here uh, just in case if I need to go ahead and log in and I have my business account as well. So we can go ahead and create a new profile over here by clicking on create a business profile if we need to. But currently we don't need to unless it asks for us. So we're just simply going to keep it simple. So once it's installed, this is how it's going to look like over here onto your Shopify store. I'm just simply going to pin it over here so that way I can see it. Now that that's done over here, we can go ahead and connect our pixel. To connect the pixel, all you got to do is click on get started. And over here, it just basically tells you what you need to do. So as you can see right here, Facebook account and business profile. So we need to go ahead and connect that as well. So since we already have a few profiles, I deleted a few, but I already have some. We are good to go. So here you can see we have one ad account over here already, which is this one. We can go ahead and remove it as well. So let me just remove it. Sorry, that's the business admin, so I can't remove that. So we'll just let it sit over there, whatever. But yeah, so we've already created a profile. If you don't know how to create one, just simply come over here onto the business suite or meta suite, and you can find the application underneath the ads manager as well. So you can create it over there. If not, you can just simply connect the account and it will tell you to create a business profile from here as well. So let's go ahead and finish it up. So we're going to go ahead and connect the Facebook account by clicking on this button right here. We're already logged in, so we're just simply going to click on continue. And here we go. So our Facebook account is now connected. As you can see, it says right there. Here we have our profiles right here. If you don't see any profile, it'll ask you to create one or it'll give you the option to create one as well. So let's go ahead and create a brand new profile. So we're going to click on these three buttons. We're going to click over here and then we're going to click on create a business portfolio. And over here, we're going to name the business portfolio over here. We're going to enter the contact information and business email as well. So let's get into it. Unfortunately, I can't create a new profile because it says I've reached the limit. So there you go. But if you wanted to create one, you can just simply uh, fill out this form and click on create and your business profile would be created. After that, you just need to fill out a few other settings and you should be good to go. And also make sure to verify your account as well. So as you can see, this one is still unverified. But yeah, let's go ahead and connect to one of these accounts or one of these profiles that we already have created. I'm going to select this one, click on connect. There we go. It's connected. And now here is the pixel option right here. So over here, you have two options. You want to keep conservative, enhanced or maximum. It depends on you what you want. Basically, what this will do is it will gather data from your customers and then, you know, their private data is going to be available to Facebook and then they'll be, you know, they'll have more recommended products. Basically, that's what it means. So you can choose whichever level you want, conservative, enhanced or maximum. I'm going to leave it at enhanced for now. If you want to view more details, you can click on view more and you can find all of the options right here. So once that's done, just simply click on save. So we've now done that. Now all that's left for us to do is to connect our, you know, data set. So right here, this is the pixel. 
and this is where we can create the meta pixel if you want so we're going to click on connect if you want you can go ahead and you know click on confirm disconnect it or create a new one but it's actually much simpler to just you know leave it at that after that just simply click on confirm and then agree to their terms and services and make sure that your product is available to them and then just simply click on the review process it's going to finalize the setup over here and you can even publish the product over here so give it a couple of seconds and you should be good to go and after all as you can see you run ads on facebook and instagram so that's why we also needed the ad manager as well so we can create different ads so it's going to take some minutes and we'll pause the video here and there we go so it's now done so if we click on the settings option we can view the settings and in the settings we can see we have our pixel options over here and if we want to view it we just simply open this link in another tab and it's going to take us over here and here we go so this is the pixel settings here you can go ahead and manage your pixels you can create new pixels if you click on this pen icon you can change the name and here you will be able to track all the activity of your website right so this is the website right here whenever someone comes over to the website you'll be able to track it through here and since you've already connected it with facebook when you eventually create you know facebook shop or instagram shop uh, your catalog will be connected with it as well as you can see right here the catalog is connected you'll be able to manage and you know take a look over there as well so as you can see right here 23 counts that's just me i think overall i'm not sure if that is accurate but i think that's just me from the 3rd to october 5th yeah i think that's just me and coming over to my store but yeah this is how you can connect your pixels there's another way to do that but there that's just way too long it requires you to just create the pixel first from here and then choose the pixel over there but you know this is much simpler just install the application from your shopify store right follow the list and you'll eventually able to go ahead and you know create it you can also desync your catalog over here as you can see right here and if you want to change the pixel as well you can go ahead and change it over here so if you click on create new you can create a new pixel by clicking on this button and this will create the meta pixel right here and there you go so now that is the one that's connected so so you can go ahead and click on the change button and you should be good to go so over here i think i disconnected it now i can go ahead and click on continue and now over here we have created a new pixel as you can see right here we can go ahead and connect that as well so this is how you can create a new pixel and connect it as well so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible so having said that Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.